Alrighty guys, good morning. Madman Mandelo coming at you live from the Garden Hill Garage here in beautiful Alabama. Alright, well, listen. 2.35 a.m. in the morning last night, and we I went into beast mode, and we got six of these bastards done. They're fully loaded. Okay, all of them range from a, two, from a 250 gig drive to a 2 terabyte drive. All right, and the reason why it took so long was because I had to go ahead and download all of the proper title updates, which is very important to be able to play online. Otherwise, you would get prompted to download all kinds of crazy stuff and everything else. I don't want you doing that. I want you to be able to boot this thing up and play the game. Online, offline, campaign mode, whatever. So in order to do that, you have to do all of that other stuff and that other grunt work in order to get the things to work correctly. So anyway, <clears throat> I've got six of them done here, okay, I'm going to go into beast mode again today and do quite a few more, okay, but anyway, for the time being right now, what we've got is we've got each multi-console screen, okay, uh, I'm going to go over these things, uh, the first one is going to be uh, the guide for you guys to get them online and everything, alright, this applies to all the consoles that I'm going to show you, alright, but we're going to use one to demonstrate. All right, so then that way then you know what, where, how, and who. Okay, I'm going to go over a couple things in Aurora. All right, we're going to go over uh, Dash Launch. We're going to go over uh, FTP and, of course, um, you know, Xbox uh, 360 Neighborhood. All right, we're going to go over all of the, you know, the mods and everything that's on here already. All right, uh, the basic setup, how to get it online for the first time. Okay, because all of this stuff is very important because if you don't do exactly what I'm telling you to do in this video, you're not going to get it online. You're going to wind up with problems, and I don't want to see that happen. That's why I do these videos, so that way then you, you know, you, you understand what, where, how, and who, okay? Because I don't want you just like blindly going out, and if you don't, if you don't know what an RGH is, or this is your first one, yeah, you're going to run into problems if you don't listen to what I'm telling you, okay? And you got a lot to learn on this thing, okay? So be prepared because it's not just a 360 anymore it's a complete emulation machine it's crazy all right so you know but it, it, it really is something else and it's a lot of fun to play all right on this thing uh some of them have trials of purge uh some of them have lifetime purge that was bought all right and of course you know you got uh, college football revamp version 10 latest edition with the mods installed already okay visit the college uh football revamp github all right keep up with the updates because they update it regularly like once a month, it seems. So you got to keep up with that, all right? I'm going to explain that too, all right? But anyway, we're going to start off here, okay? Jonathan DeMoss, okay? Now, John went ahead, he purchased a console from the website from us, okay? And, uh, well, John, here it is, it's all done, okay? So I'll tell you what, we're going to boot it up, okay? And I did your ROL, by the way, all right, just so you can see, okay? You got the seven color changing crazy, crazy thing, okay, that you wanted, all right? Now I'm going to put it right here. And let me go ahead here, all right, as you can see it's booting up, <clears throat> all right, I'm going to sync a controller with this thing, all right, we're going to use this one here just for the demonstration and for how to get it online for the first time. Then I'm going to go through, I'm going to showcase all of these things, okay, and i got a lot to do, so, you know, I mean, that's why I'm doing it in multi-screen, okay, also I had someone on a, um, uh, in Operation Net or whatever say, well, he uses one console and he just swaps out the name and everything, bullshit. Okay? Bullshit. Like I said, I love people like that. What a bunch of freaking idiots. I've been around in the scene longer than half of you guys been been, been born. Okay, you know? And I'm like, going like, really? You freaking nimrod. Alright, so anyway, as you can see, we're booting up into Aurora. We got our notifications and everything. Alright, now look. In Aurora, okay, if you hit RB or LB, subcontext menu is going to come up. See what I'm saying? All right, and then you can pick your Xbox Live Arcade, Homebrew, Classic, Indie, Emulators, Show All, and back to Xbox 360, okay? You know, you can go left or right with the D-pad, you know, it doesn't really matter, all right? You know, so, you know, it, it's your choice, okay? See, and it just shows your Xbox uh, 360 games, okay? Now, if you hit the back button, you can have your file manager. Pay attention to your IP as well, okay? It's your local area IP address, okay? So you have your file manager, you have your scripts, we start reboot and shut down. Okay, now scripts. Now, you see, as you can see, there's a lot of stuff that's installed already on this thing. All right, uh, you can go to the repo. Okay, in the repo browser, you know, it'll execute the script, and then you have filters, sorting, sorting scripts, subtitles, utility scripts, 
if you hit that you can download you can download off of the uh off of the repo and have it installed okay you know what i mean so you know no big deal that's aurora all right and there's a lot there's a lot of good stuff with that okay aurora and fsd though have recently experienced problems with downloading title artwork and stuff like that you know and sometimes you know and there's there's ways around it if you enable live block and live strong that'll work we have a we have a uh, we have a patch that was made for it that i use on this thing in the default uh in the in the plugin on um on dash launch you can set it in xdrpc any plugin or you can set it as a regular plugin and and then just unload it if you want to load something else once you get your title artwork or whatever but all the title artwork and all the tus have been downloaded and everything already so you don't have to worry about that crap all right now if you hit the start button you will see you have your assets okay for your icons box art all that kind of good stuff and everything profile your content that's where everything is lying on the system and where it where it makes its databases your modules okay so you know anova is active that's for like link and playing you, you know land games you know across the network using nova or link okay you got your ftp server and dash launches are active language security and about all right now another thing okay if god forbid somebody does a title update let's say for a game or whatever okay and you go to go online and you try to play it and it crashes well what i need you to do is i need you to hit the y button right here and then bring this down here and you will see okay that's installed okay now if one you know if a title update isn't installed you need to check by hitting uh by hitting right d-pad all right and as you can see it's installed these are the earlier versions of it okay you always want to get the latest version download it then select it and you're good to go all right so just remember you know it's very important that you have your title updates all in a row okay now all these consoles that have already i've already done that for you so you don't have to do that either okay so you're not going to get hindered by oh you gotta download this update pack you gotta download this you gotta download that oh you need this dlc no you don't have to do that it's already been done okay so anyway now that i showed you that okay now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go We'll start off there, we'll work our way over, okay? There's your NCAA Football 14 with college football revamp version 10 mod on it already. Of course, Modern Warfare 2, you know, Minecraft, all this crap. It's all right there, okay? Modern Warfare 3, so on and so forth. And, you know, you got you, you got a pretty pretty good amount of games on here, all right? Now, okay, hit RB, bring it over. Xbox Live Arcade, okay? You have all of your uh, arcade ga uh, all of your arcade games and everything. If I miss the title update and, and you go to go online and it crashes, well, it's real easy. Like I showed you, go to Y, select it, and just download it and install it. No big deal. All right? And they don't take long. They, they, you know, it depends upon how many megabytes they are, but it usually takes, like, you know, for the arcade games, maybe, maybe, maybe 20 seconds to download a title update. So, it's, you know, it is what it is. All right? Anyway, you got your classic games now. Well, let, let me go over here. That was Xbox Live Arcade. We'll go to Homebrew section. Here's your Homebrew section right here. XM 360, very important. Please pay attention to that. I'm going to show you that a little bit later. All right. Then, of course, we have our classic games, okay? That, you, you know, then, and this thing plays classic games on it as well. All right. And then, of course, you have your indie games. Those are made by developers. And then you have your emulators, okay? And you got a ton of them on there. All right. And then, of course, back to show all shows everything that's on the drive. Okay. So, pretty much there you go. All right. Now, all right. Uh, now look, if you go to the original dashboard, if you want to, you can go to Xbox 360 dashboard, hit the A button, alright, it'll start up, you'll get to the original dashboard, you'll see this, and it'll be like, okay, skip the sign in, all that crap, okay, and you know, pretty much, you, you know, there it is, alright, now, you got your guide right here, okay, and what you got here is, uh, this is, uh, this is out of time because I haven't done this yet, <laughs> I'm sorry about that, okay, but anyway, you know, uh, like I said, you got your cheats over here, you can disable or enable, you know, enable ghost cheats, all that crap, okay, so on and so forth, all right, you know, I mean, back out of there, we'll go back home here, Xbox Home, all right, and now what we'll do, okay, is this, all right, now it's going to boot back into Aurora, okay, I'm going to show you a little bit of dash launch here, so that way then you understand what the heck is going on with dash launch and all that crap too, all right, we'll just give it a second and it'll go back to Aurora. I say Aurora takes a little bit longer because it's got a it's, it's got a it's got a heck of a database structure, okay? So anyway, now 
just to show you uh, one of the utilities here, like dash launch, all right, when you click that, it'll open it up, all right, and then what will happen is you have your paths, okay, now if you don't want to boot into Aurora, you don't have to, you just clear that right there with Y, and, and, and it'll clear it, and then save the, save the launch, and it ain't no big deal, all right, now, you got your behavior, stay away from that, don't mess around in there unless you know what the hell you're doing, all right, you got your network, and we don't need to have, see, See, that's what I'm saying. See, you got to watch this because sometimes it'll enable live block and live strong. And when it does that, well, guess what? Okay, you can't get to, you can't get to, you know, online or anything like that, which is kind of crazy, but that's what it does sometimes. Okay, so you got to be careful of that. You know, it's protecting the KV, actually. And you have your timers for your hard drive and all that. Please stay away from that. Don't mess around in there. And then, of course, you have your plugins, okay? As you can see, you have XDRPC on here, okay, which you can put multiple plugins in instead of, instead of wasting space using up these plugins right here, okay, but, you know, like I said, you can take this out of there if you don't want to use it, you know, because you already got your title artwork and all that kind of good stuff, all right, so anyway, uh, what we'll do now is we'll hit RB, and then we'll, then you just highlight HDD, and then you hit X to save it, and it saves it, and then B to back out, and then it'll reboot the console, all right, and then you'll get into Aurora, all right, so now this thing's going to start up again, and I can't help that it takes this much time, but that's just the way that it is, okay? That's the way Aurora is, all right? FSD is a little bit quicker, but then again, though, no, it's also way, way older, all right? So, you know, I mean, what are you going to do? So, there you go. Got it? Good. Yeah, okay. Now, now we got the, uh, now we got the Xbox Live thing. That's funny. <laughs> okay. All right. So, anyway, now, now we're online and all that other happy nonsense, okay? So, anyway, uh, now we're back to show all, okay? So, let me show you some, let me show you some stuff here, okay? All right, look. All right, uh, we'll go with college football revamp first, okay? NCAA football 14, we'll hit it, okay? There we go. Look, uh-huh, yeah, typical. What else is new? Son of a... <laughs> okay, sorry about that. This happens, and I know why, too, because I just, I, I, I just, I just enabled the live block and live strong. <laughs> I disabled it. Sorry about that, guys. Really sorry. Like I said, it was late last night. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. So, anyway, now, we'll restart this. I'm sorry about that. I really am. All right. Here we go. All right. Now, let's try this again, shall we? Okay. Holy mackerel. All right. Anyway, yeah. There we go. All right. Now, now, let's try this again. Let's see if it crashes now. No. Of course not. That's what happens when you enable and, and disable live block and live strong and all that in the middle of this. You see, it, you know, it'll give you that sometimes. But anyway, as you can see, college football revamped, okay? There it is. It, this is the version 10. This is the latest version off the website. Please, for the love of God, go to college football revamped GitHub. Okay, keep up with that. Google it, all right? You know, I mean, because you, you need to get on there because they're always doing updates. And plus, if you want to download new rosters, stuff like that, uh, helmets, uh, jerseys, colors, team colors, and all that, go there, all right? It has plain and simple instructions on how to update it too. All you do is just copy, copy the folder, copy the files that they that they tell you that's new, all right, and then just copy them over to the console using FTP or using Xbox 360 neighborhood or even a USB stick, okay? But FTP and you uh, and, and and Xbox 360 neighborhood neighborhood are a hell of a lot easier, all right. So anyway, we'll start. Okay, good. Yeah, we'll sign in. Okay, yeah, there we go. And it's loading. Okay, and then you'll see that we'll have, we'll go ahead and, um, what we're going to have here is we're going to have, uh, it's going to boot up into the main main there you are. All right, so now you got play now. All right, and then of course you have your teams and all that kind of good stuff, okay? Back out of there. You got your dynasty, your road to glory, you got your 2020 season, ultimate team, Xbox Live, team management settings, college football revamped extras, so on and so forth, Okay. I mean, it, it all works. It works out of the box. All you got to do is get some, get some live gold, okay? Or if you join the team or whatever, or whatever the hell it is, okay? You can play online with your friends or whatever. You can download rosters and play with other people. You know, this is a this is a big thing. Everybody loves this thing. I mean, they're crazy over it, and they play it, and they keep playing it. It's crazy, okay? You know, and there's a lot of people on there. So have a blast. You know, you'll have a good time with this thing, okay? So anyway, all right, we're going to get out of here. Box home, yes. Okay, now, all right. Now, when I go back to Aurora here, okay, now I'm going to show you a couple other things here. <sighs> I'm sorry, guys, I'm just tired. <laughs> like I said, 2.35 a.m. in the morning, and then I was up at 6 o'clock. <laughs> I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> all right, so anyway, all right, here we go. Okay, good. Now, 
Okay. Now we'll go ahead and go on over Xbox 360 games. Okay. And then what we'll do here. All right. Now, um, okay. Let's do this. Okay. Now we did college football revamped. Okay. Look. MW3. A lot of people still play MW3. They like MW3. Okay. Now we have an all post. Okay. It works for all of them. It works for ghosts. All right. It works for uh, MW2, MW3, uh, and BO2. The all post is just D-pad left to open it, X to select, B to back out, and D-pad left to close it. Okay. Now I'm going to show you this. Okay. In here. All right. So we'll go ahead. Make sure I got the title update because, like I said, it was like, yep, there it is. That's good. Okay, all right. So anyway, we'll just start it off. All right. And now we'll have MW. Now, we'll, now what it's going to do is going to open up a section of MW3. Okay. Okay. And as you can see, our cheats are loaded. Everything is good. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, we'll go to multiplayer. All right. Now I'm not going to do online. Okay, because you know this is an offline profile that I have. Okay. When you get online, you know, uh, it's gonna, it's gonna. It's gonna give you a completely different thing. All right. So anyway, we got system link right here. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it like this. We create the game. Okay. We'll do a map. And we'll do dome mode, standard mode. We'll do free for all. We'll start the game. All right. Now. All right. It's gonna start off. One synchronizing settings. Setting game. We're on players. Good. Okay. We're gonna. Okay. We'll auto assign. Yep, okay, now, D-pad left to open it, all right, now, there's, there's the off post right there, all right, X to select, you turn the aimbot on, okay, you can do auto aim, you can change this to visible, crosshair, silent aim, off, okay, so, we could do nearest, let's say, okay, right, and then, you, you know, you can turn on auto aim and auto shoot, but I don't really, that, that's like, you know, what the hell, all right, so you do a spin bot, you can turn all this crap on right here, any aim and all that kind of good stuff, then back out of here by hitting B, ESP option to turn that on. You can give them pyramids. It could be 2D, 3D, so on and so forth. Your name, your distance, your weapon, your bones, your team. Snap lines, snap line on the team. Target client ESP, okay, so on and so forth. And then uh, you can turn your no recoil on, advanced UAV, no sway, and crosshair. Okay, and you can change that to an X, crosshair, off, crosshair, whatever you want to do. Okay, you know, and it all works. It all works just fine, all right? So anyway, that's, that's the off post right there, all right? Now, of course, I can't put bots in there, all right, to demonstrate it, but I will in another in, in another game. But it's the same all post, okay? So, you know, it works the same way, all right? Uh, we're booting back up into Aurora now, okay? And, um, you know, like I said, there's a lot that, I, that I'm going to go over with this thing because you really need to understand how this thing works because if you don't, like I said, you're going to wind up ripping your freaking hair out, and I don't want to see that happen. You know what I'm saying? Hey, Michael, how are you? Stuart, what's happening, man? Hello, Katie. Tyler? Yeah, I will, bro. I, 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 yeah, I'm mega busy. Is correct. Okay, I really am. Yeah, <laughs> you, you know, Brandon, you really gotta try it. Yeah, I'm no good at football either. You know, I mean, something about guys running around a grassy field, patting each other on the ass, chasing a rubber ball, does not turn me on for some reason. I don't know why. It just doesn't doesn't do it for me. Yeah, you know, something about the jock strap or something. I don't know. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> hey, Seth, how are you, man? So. Anyway, needless to say, uh, okay, now we made it back here, all right? Now, look, all right, um, what we'll do here, let's see here now. Okay, uh, you know, a lot of people are like, well, well, you do it all the time for BO2. Okay, so we know Jiggy and we know Sentinel. Hold in left trigger, push down right thumbstick, that gives you your Jiggy menu, okay? And, we, you know, in Sentinel menu, hold in left trigger, push down on right thumbstick, you know, and X to select, and then push on the right thumbstick to back out of it, Okay. So, you know, a lot of people have asked me, well, can you do something, can you do something different? Okay, no problem. I'll tell you what. We'll do a little bit later of a title game right here, okay? We'll do Call of Duty Ghosts, okay? So, anyway, we'll hit that. Oh, and by the way, we are working on the Advanced Warfare Cheats, too, okay? I haven't forgotten about them, okay? We've just been, like I said, we've been really, really busy. My developer's been really, really busy. And, you know, I mean, it's been nuts. So, you know, but we're going to go ahead and we're going to try and, um, we're going to try and put a, uh, Advanced Warfare Cheats on here as well, okay? You know? Um, if you want to get cheats, though, I'm going to tell you something right now. For the BO series and the COD series, okay, Jort on Discord, okay, Matrix menu, it does all, it's a great menu, okay, I mean, he charges like 50 bucks for the menu, but you have it for a lifetime, and it works really good, okay, if you've got the money that you just like, yeah, what the hell, why not, well, then, you know, go for it, I mean, it's got all kinds of crazy stuff on there, all right, you know, I mean, I highly recommend, 
um, you know, highly recommend Matrix Mods, you know, I mean, they're really good stuff, alright, so anyway, okay, so we'll go to multiplayer right here, okay, and, uh, and we'll do this, and we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and, uh, what it's gonna do is it's gonna go into multiplayer, alright, come on now, don't mess with me, thank you, okay, Ghost Bypass, okay, everything is good, well, that's very important, actually, <laughs> without that you won't play, okay, and the cheats are loaded, okay, we'll do a local gameplay, A. Select your hard drive, okay, and then uh, hit A to start. And what we'll do is, is I'll go ahead and um, what we'll do is, is we'll do a game setup here. All right, uh, I'll leave it on prison break. Uh, I'm gonna do standard modes. We'll do a free for all, okay. We'll back out of there. All right, we'll add some bots. There we go. All right, and then we'll start the match, okay. Now, like I said, the all post is the same way. It works the same way for all of them. So just you know, just know these controls and that, and you'll be fine. All right. So, you know, it's going to load up into the map now. And now we'll have a little bit of action here. And mind you, this off host does not have God mode. Okay, so you can get shot. Okay? So anyway, D-pad left. There you are. X to select. We're turning aimbot on. Okay, we'll do visible. And we'll do slow spin, fast spin, spin bot, fake aim down, fake aim up. Any aim. Okay? ESP options. We'll turn that on. Put pyramids around them. We'll select all this crap right here. Like that. Okay? No recoil, put snap lines on them, all that kind of good stuff. Okay, and now we're done. So we'll hit D-pad left. And now what we'll do, you bastard. Ugh, like I said. <laughs> Here we go. Bitch, how you like that, huh? Right in the fucking forehead, you motherfucker. Yeah, that's right. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Yeah, that's it, there you go. Come on, pop your head out, you little fucking rabbit motherfucker. Yeah, go ahead, try and do that shit. Oh shit, oh shit, you you shot a woman. How could you do that? Oh, my goodness. You, you, you just... Oh. Oh, that's so horrible. Bitch, how you like that, huh? Look at that. Oh, yeah, right. Long shot. Triple kill. Yeah, that's it. That's what I'm looking for. You know? Like I said, it, it's a lot of fun. It's fun. It, it's especially fun to play online. How'd you do that, man? <laughs> you know? <laughs> but anyway, uh, uh, this, is, this is one of those that won't get you, like, banned or anything like that. You know, because... You know, you don't... Oh, look, a tree. <laughs> I need my chainsaw. Bitch, come here. Come here. Yeah, go ahead. Try that again. Here, come here. Here, come here. Come here. Come here. Bastard. You bitch. You stabbed me in the back, you fuck. Anyway. Ready, quit. All right. Anyway, needless to say, though, as you can see, it all works. Everything works right. Okay? So, you know, no big deal. All right. Now, okay, what we'll do. Okay, I'm going to show you uh, GTA 5. All right. As soon as the thing loads back up again, yeah, I know. This takes time. I, I, I mean, I'm not used to this because it's a, it's Aurora. It, it's not the console or anything like that. You know, I mean, they all run the same way. It's the damn. It, it's it's the Aurora with the database structure. It's freaking huge with the way that they did it. And also, we got a little intimate with Aurora as we found out, you know, how to fix the download stuff and everything, because we had it. You know, we had to go ahead and we had to reverse some stuff, okay, in order to see the source code to be able to understand what the hell was going on. And uh, the more you get into it, you realize, oh my God, this has got so much work that's been done to it. It's crazy. Gavin and Swizzy and all those guys, man, they did a lot of work to this friggin' thing. This thing is nuts. You know, it just, Microsoft with their API decided to change some stuff up and everything. And it's just, it, 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 that's what's causing, that's what caused the crash with all that crap. All right. So anyway, all right, we'll go back over here. All right. And then uh, what we'll do is, is we'll do a little uh, GTA 5, what the hell. Okay. And we'll make sure that we got our title update is good. Yep, there we go. Okay, we're good. All right. Because if you don't do that, <laughs> you ain't going to play online. I, I, I can promise you that. Okay? So anyway, all right. Now, we'll go ahead into this. Now, you're going to get a text box that's going to pop up. For those of you that bought Lifetime, you know, I mean, you're going to have Lifetime on it. All right. For those of you with a trial, you'll have 10 days on it. Okay? So anyway, open the menu with D-pad left and X. Okay? And away we go. All right, and the thing's gonna start, and then I'm gonna show you the menu, okay? Um, you know, hey, this is the this is the older menu. He's got the server for 4.0 down right now because he is actually finishing up all of his stuff and everything on it to get it online for everybody to be able to update to the latest one, okay? That's one of the reasons why 4.0 is down right now, all right? Because he had to do some other things to it, some memory management or something like that, from what I understand. He had a memory leak somewhere and he had to fix it. So, you know, anyway, just to let you know, what's going on there, okay, so, because he doesn't want to release it, if it's going to, if it's going to give you a problem, because then the only thing he's going to do is get inundated with all kinds of magic, hey man, this don't work, that don't work, this don't work, want to get it working all, all the way around, okay, 
So when it's released, it's good. We don't have to worry about it. Um, those of you uh, who had a trial of it and played it and everything, you know how you, you know how 4.0 is. It's, it's pretty. It's a pretty damn good menu. I can't wait for them to release it. Um, right now we're working off a 3.9, which is the older menu. But however, though, for those of you who bought Lifetime, you're going to get automatically updated to 4.0. So, you know, just to let you know. So anyway, we're starting off, and I'm uh, sorry about that, but i got a game save on here, and you can do whatever you want to do um, with this thing. It'll pop up the menu. Um, it's going to be D-pad left and X to open it. So let me, well, yeah, it's streaming from the server. Sorry about that. Yeah, because it does stream from the server. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, there we go. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we know. Auto save. Okay, good. Good deal. Okay. Now, wait a minute. Now, let me see here. Come on. All right. I'm waiting for this thing to stream from the server. Unless he's doing something in the background, I'm not sure. There it is. Okay, yeah. All right, so anyway. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. Anyway, you've had left the next to open it. Okay, so on and so forth. All right. A to select, you can turn all this crap on with A, so on and so forth, okay? And we're back out of there, you got your quick options, okay? You can do, uh, yeah, improve flight mode, I like that one, okay? And of course, you got teleport locations, all right? And there's all your teleport locations. Online players, recovery options, okay? Bodyguard menu, one of my favorites right here, yeah, Tony Sun Gun Strippers, you gotta have them. You gotta have a bunch of them, yeah, that works, that works good. Nipples, love that, okay? Back out of here would be, okay? You got your weapons options, all right? Uh, you know, fireworks gun, teleport gun, cash gun, all that stuff. You know, you can turn all this on if you want. You know, it all, it, it all works really good, okay? Uh, your grenade gun, yeah, that works really good too, okay? So on and so forth. Back out of there. All right, Los Santos Customs, you know, you can spawn anything that you want. Misc options, okay? We can back this out here and give it some daylight. There you go. All right, so on and so forth. And hit B and you're back out to the main menu right there. You know, your misc options, all that kind of good stuff, so on and so forth. Then hit D-pad left and X to close the menu. All right, there's your purge wheel right there, okay? And then, of course, uh, you know, you got, uh, let's see here. Yeah, yeah, we can do that. Then we can blow some shit, we can blow some shit up. Ain't no problem. Like I said, works really good. You can blow up some strippers, you know, whatever you want to do. Okay, so on and so forth. Yeah, that works real good. So, you know, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, needless to say, yeah. It all works, and it all works very, very well. Bitch, get away from me. Your underwear's on fucking fire, okay? So anyway, you know, pretty much there you go, you know, so on and so forth. So we'll go ahead and we'll get out of here now, all right? Okay, now that I showed you all that and everything, all right? Now I'm going to show you a little bit of BO2, so then that way then you understand Jiggy and Fentanyl, okay? I decided I'm going to do that just, just to give you guys that stuff, because a lot of people watch these videos, especially when I upload them to YouTube, and, you know, I, you, you know it helps people, so... Instead of just giving you like a like a loaded gun that you know nothing about, okay, right? And you're holding it wrong or whatever. I don't want to see you do that, okay? So anyway, all right, look. Hit RB, bring it over. Xbox 360, here we go. All right. Now, Black Ops 3 works too, okay, as well as Advanced Warfare. All of them work. Black Ops works. Everything works on this thing, all right? Including Call of Duty World of War. That works too, as well. All right, so anyway, Black Ops 2, we'll hit that. There we go. Okay, and it's going to start up. You better start off. <laughs> Especially after all the work that I did freaking yesterday. Holy shit. All right. Anyway, we're starting off with Black Ops. <laughs> yeah, 235 a.m. in the morning. I'm saying to myself, self, you have lost your fucking mind. I have worked harder than, than, than I had when I had my regular freaking HVAC job, which is crazy. But that's okay. Anyway, we'll start off here. All right, now we'll hit the start button. Okay. We'll go to the hard drive. Here we go. All right, now I'll tell you what. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to do multiplayer right here, okay? So here we go. Multiplayer. All right. Now, we'll go ahead and we'll uh we'll load into a uh we'll load into a um into a multiplayer session, all right? Just so you can see. Yeah, I I, I love the way Aurora adds so much to the memory. The poor thing. Ugh. Okay. Anyway, local game, all right. We'll set up the bots, we'll make a meme, all right? We'll start the match. Now, I'm going to show you Jiggy and I'm going to show you Sentinel, okay? Now, Jiggy, hold in left trigger, push down the right thumbstick, okay? That's going to open it up. A to select, X to back out, okay? Sentinel, hold in left trigger, push down the right thumbstick. X to select, and push the right thumbstick in to back out. So anyway, okay, we'll open up Jiggy. All right, there we are. Okay, we'll hit A. All right, and we'll go ahead, we'll put quick mods on. They all come up over here, by the way. All right, I'm going to back out of here. 
All right, we're gonna hit X. Now, if you wanna play with Jiggy online, okay, you gotta go into a section by yourself. Then you're gonna go to host only, right here. Hit A, and then force the host by hitting A. And then you can do all this crazy stuff online with your buddies. And plus you have the off host as well, okay? Oh, we'll back out of here now, all right? And pretty much, you know, you're good to go. Just back out of the, out of the section that you launched into, and then join a public section, and you're good to go. And you'll have it online, okay? So, anyway, and we'll modify some bullets. Here we go. We'll do swarms, and we'll do grenades, and we'll do... We'll burn their asses, and we'll also put rabies on them, okay? And then we'll, what we'll do is we'll back out of here, and then we'll back out of this menu. Now, all post, D-pad left. X to select. Turn all this crap on. Alright, aimbot menu, as you can see. On screen, let's see, nearest, on screen, yeah, okay, and we'll do this right here, we'll turn that on, let's see, we'll do that, pyramids, and pretty much the same thing as the other ones, okay, just, just represented a little differently, alright, in your miss menu, you can uh, end the game, show host, watermark, scroll bar, all that crap, okay, so on and so forth, okay, so we'll back out of there now, okay, and then uh, we'll hit D-pad left, that closes it, We'll go out over here. When they turn blue, let them have it. There goes the dogs and everything else. We'll go up into the sky here. Get a good bird's eye view. And then we'll blow the shit up out of everything, okay? And uh, it, it all works pretty good. All right, now, if you want to be a real asshole, just go to uh, aimbot. Go to unfair aimbot. And now you shoot through building schools and everything else. And get automatic headshots and piss everybody the fuck off. And end the game in, a in mere seconds, okay? And that's what ruined the game, actually. So, don't do that. Please don't do that, all right? I mean, it's just... That's, it's just stupid, because what fun is that? There's, there's no fun in that, okay? I mean, it's, it's fun to make people fly around, you know, and have a blast with them or whatever. It's not fun doing that, so so don't do that. If you want to be an asshole, hey, that's up to you, all right? But remember this, karma's a bitch, all right? So anyway, okay. Then we got BO2, all right? There you go. Works good. Now, we'll back out of here, yeah, and then we'll back out of here, and we'll go right to zombies, all right? And I'm going to load up zombies just to show you. I know it's repetitive, but, you know, hey, what the hell? Everybody watches these damn things, so, you know, it's just the way it is. All right, so we'll go to a local game right here. All right, now, and anyway, at least you know that when you get this console, the way that it works here is the way it's going to work there. As long as your internet's cool, okay, make sure that you've got a decent router, okay? And don't try to do it with a hot spot. I know it works, but, Christ, it's so fucking slow. Oh, my God. All right, transit. Okay, start the match. All right, now... You're going to see the, the instructions pop up over here. All right. We'll load it up. Yeah, we're doing a green run. I'm feeling kind of green. Actually, I'm feeling, I don't know, green, yellow, brown. I, 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 I'm not feeling my, myself today. Okay. <laughs> I need to I need to start doing some, some cocaine or something like that. That'll be all right. Anyway, okay. Holding left trigger, push down right thumbstick. Okay, personal mod. There it is. We'll hit X to select. We'll turn God mode on. Infinite ammo on. No target. Yeah, we'll do Limit sprint, double speed, no clip, okay? And we'll toggle the aimbot. And in the back out, just press the right thumbstick in. Okay, we'll pick something a little heavier, okay? Here we go. Let's see here. Yeah, just something simple, like a fully automatic RPG. That works real good. We'll wake up the zombies. Hey, guys, wake up. Come on. What's the matter? You didn't get your coffee? Oh, you all pissed off? Oh, you want an egg sandwich, huh? You want something from Hardee's? Is that what you want? Is that why you're all mad? I'm sorry, guys. So, anyway... Yeah, just hold on the left trigger and push down and push on the, on the right trigger and pretty much you just destroyed everything inside the friggin' place, okay? Done, all right? So anyway, now we'll back out of here, okay? And like I said, you got your weapons menu, fun menu, models menu, forge menu, zombies menu, power-up menu, rounds menu, teleport menu, map mods, lobby mod, game settings, menu settings, players menu, all players menu, all that crap, okay? So anyway, there you go, all right? Now, we're going to move along. To this next um, part of this video where I'm going to show you how to get this thing online for the first time okay and this is rather important all right because if you don't pay attention to this you're not going to get online you're going to get pissed off all right you're going to mess did you do exactly what I told you and when you say yes I'm going to say no you didn't now I'm going to slap you because you're not online okay <coughs> Excuse me. Needless to say, very important that you do this, okay? It's very simple. It's not something that that, that, that you need a degree in or anything like that, all right? It's just, it's just simple mechanics here, okay? Look. 
Why do you get this crazy thing? Yeah, I got your name on it. Done. Hey, it's just done. See? Done. Done. It's done. Okay? When you get the crazy thing, all right, look. Before you go ahead and you power this thing on and all that other happy nonsense, background downloads are enabled. Son of a... Turn off! Thank you. Don't argue with me. All right, look. This is very simple. When you first get it, I want you to immediately pull this hard drive out, okay? Place it up there. Plug it in, get your controller ready, HDMI cord, you know, all that stuff. All right, now we're going to power it on. Now, the end result is that this thing is going to boot, all right? And what it does, it's going to go ahead and what it's going to do is it's going to boot to the Xbox 360 dashboard, okay? Now, when it boots to the 360 dashboard, what's going to happen is we're going to go ahead and we're going to grab hold and we're going to go into the network settings and all that other happy nonsense in order to get this thing to go ahead and uh, get online, okay? So anyway, here we go. Boot up. Now, you're not going to get the fancy dashboard. You're not going to be able to connect to Xbox Live or, you know, or any, any of the services like that, but we want to connect to our local area network because all of our all of our stuff that's very important that we need is on here. So it's kind of hard with this out of the out of the Xbox to be able to get online, okay? Which is good because you don't want to directly connect to Xbox Live, uh, not without a self server because you will ban the KV immediately, okay? So anyway, we go up, we go over, we go to settings, we go to system, okay? Now, very simplistic, okay? Now I don't know if you can. There we go. Get the focus better. Somewhat, okay, whatever. Anyway, okay, listen. Now, what we do is we go to network settings, okay? Your Wi-Fi, it's going to go ahead and what's going to happen, it's going to scan, and it's going to find your Wi-Fi. When it finds your Wi-Fi access point, I want you to click on it, put your password in. When you do that, it's going to automatically test the Xbox Live connection just like this. You're going to get a check mark and two red X's, okay? That's what you should get, okay? Just like that. Retail, bad. RGH, good. Okay, all right. Why? Like I said, we don't want to connect to Xbox Live without a self server. So what Dash Launch is doing is is actually cutting off the internet in Xbox Live, but it's enabling it to get to the local area network, which is what we want. So we're now we're connected to our local area network. That's the first step. Once you get here, then you can get to the internet, and then you can get to Xbox Live. Okay. But the only way to do that now is once you get this right here, shut the console off. Okay. And then once you set the console up, and it's the background downloads, I hate that shit. Okay. Once the console is off, take the hard drive, slip it back in. It'll see with a click. And then what I want you to do is close your drive door. There you go. And then I want you to pull this power cord out and leave this out for five minutes, okay? Because if you don't do that, you're not going to connect. It's that simple. I'm not going to go into a long-ass story. In plain English, all right, just pull it, leave it out for five minutes. After you're done... Then plug it back in and the only reason why i'm plugging it back in is because it's already got the correct credentials on my network so i don't have to worry about it you know with tcp buffers and all this other crap okay so you know it should connect now mind you it is a microsoft product so you got a 50 50 shot okay well i do anyway okay you'll be fine all right but for you leave it out for five minutes for me well I'll bite the bullet power it on okay now once the system boots okay what's going to happen is all right, you're going to go ahead, and it's going to go ahead, and it's going to boot up, and then you're going to see it's going to load Aurora. You see the green stuff moving around here? That's going to stop. That means it locked on the Internet. Now what it's doing is it's going to run Aurora, and then it's going to load your plugins for your server and all your other stuff and everything else that you need to get online, okay? So, as it's going, you're going to see it's going to come up, and it's going to pop up. It just takes a little time because Aurora is there thinking, I guess. I don't know. It's just, it's just the way Aurora is. There you go. Okay? Read everything. Everything's good. Building profile. Everything is all good. Okay? So here we are. As you can see, you got your plugins. They came in. Everything is cool. All right? Now, you should be able to go ahead and sign in. Okay? Right from here. Okay? But for demonstration purposes, what I want you to do is I want you to make sure that you're online. Okay? So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go ahead. I'm going to hit RB. I'm going to go to Xbox 360, and I'm going to go right into the Xbox 360 dashboard right here. The original dashboard. Now, to start up, okay, we got the square. Your name is on it. That's good. She's good to go to live. Okay, no problems. That's good. So now we know. All right, now, what I want you to do, go to, my, go to xboxlive.com slash live. All right, don't use your retail profile on here unless you want to lose it, because that's what will happen. Because if you start acting like an asshole with BO2 or, you know, on GTA 5, people can report the account. Microsoft will look into it, 
they will see what the hell is going on and go, really? And then they will ban your retail profile, okay? And if, once it's gone, it's gone for good, all right? So you don't want to do that, all right? So make a modest profile. Go to xboxlive.com slash live, all right? Uh, you know, think up a silly name and a silly password, all right? And use Outlook for the credentials. And then once you make the account, once you come back here, and I want you to go to download profile, okay? Right here. And then you download it, you put the pad, you put the ID in, you put the password in and everything, and it'll download. Once it downloads, it's going to look like this, all right? You know, spin you around, make you dizzy, want to make you want to throw up, you know, just like Microsoft does. All right, there you are, you signed in and everything, you're on live, life is good, all right? Now, in the event that you have a problem downloading your profile, which does happen, okay? And you're sitting there at that download screen for 15 minutes going, what the hell's going on? And of course, it never tells you what's going on. It just sits at halfway point. You're like sitting there going, like, what the, you know, how long does it take to download a profile? It ain't that big. Well, you know, what happened was is you had, you, your internet had a fart. Okay, you know, you have a little gaseous there. Not cool. So what we have to do is you have to back out of that screen with B, come here. Now, I'm going to show you how to fix this so that way then you're not in, it's not insanity for you, okay? Listen, go down to sys, go to settings, go to system, go to storage, hit A, okay? Go to the hard drive where the profiles are stored, okay? Go to the profiles right here, okay? Now, underneath this profile will be the profile that you tried to download, okay? That is completely, like, corrupt and freaking fucked up, all right? So what you want to do is you want to D-pad down, and then you want to hit A, and you want to D-pad down to delete, and then you want to delete it right off the motherfucker. Just get rid of it, because it's no good anyway, okay? So just get rid of the bastard. Be done with it, all right? And then once you want to delete it, back out of here, back out of here, okay? Back out of here. Leave the hard drive highlighted. I want you to hit Y, and then I want you to go to clear the system cache, and I want you to clear the cache out of it, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to clear the system cache and hit it once. You can do it two times, okay, because it's Microsoft, all right? That's, that's all I'm going to say, okay? So do it twice. <coughs> all righty. Now we're good. Back out of here. Back out of here, okay? Up, over, social, sign in, sign out, okay? And then pretty much... Redownload the profile and we'll download. Once you're done there, hit the guide button. Go back to Xbox Home. All right, once you're signed in. Now, you're going to boot back up into Aurora. All right? Now, I'm going to explain XM360. So, pretty much, we're um, halfway there. Okay? And like I said, this is very, very important that you follow everything that I'm telling you right now. Because if you don't, like I said, you're going to wind up with problems. Okay? And I don't want to see that happen. I want you to be able to have fun with it. You shouldn't have to work on it when you get it, okay? You should be able to plug it in and play, all right? And that's the idea of this thing, okay? So anyway, that's why it comes set up this way. That's why I set them all up this way. So that way then any noob can grab hold of it and have fun, all right? Now, okay, here we are. All right, now we're back here, okay? Now I'm going to show you, you have to go over here. Go to Xbox 360, uh, no, go to Homebrew, sorry about that, all right? And then what I want you to do is you want to go to XM360. Now, Another little ditty, okay? Listen, stay away from this and stay away from this unless you really know what the hell you're doing, okay? Google it, okay? YouTube it. It'll explain it. It's about writing mans and updating dashboards and all that crap. Okay, we haven't had a dashboard update in a while. But just in case one comes, I have your NAND, so I can update your dashboard for you. So then that way, then you don't wind up with a freaking mess on your hands, okay? I make it real simple. For those of you who are adventurous... Read about it, and you'll find out what you have to do to be able to update dashboards and all that crap and change and, and you know, change whatever, okay? So anyway, XM360, that's what we're talking about. Okay, let's go to A. We'll hit A. We'll load it up, okay? Well, what's going to happen is it can start up. Oh, my God, are you kidding me? Really? Oh, I hate that. First time when you when you first get that and you get new title updates, that's what happens sometimes. You can't. I can't help that, guys. I just can't. That's not me. Okay, <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> That's because I pulled the hard drive out of it, okay, and it enabled live block and live strong. <laughs> so it's got to reset, and you know, all that other happy nonsense. Okay, now let's try this once again, shall we? Okay, oh my god. Homebrew section, okay. Yeah, there we go. Thank you. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't wait for them to fix the problem that they have with Aurora right now. <laughs> I cannot wait for them to fix that. All right. But anyway, what it's doing is it's grabbing all of the titles, all of your downloadable content, all, all the stuff that's on the hard drive, okay? Well, look, I'm going to tell you right now. Don't go with the first scan, please, okay? I want you to rescan everything just so you can see what it's looking at, okay? So anyway, 
I'm going over, keep that left, rescan all. Hit that, okay? And as you can see, it's searching the entire hard drive, everything, okay? And as you can see, a lot of DLC is found. I mean, this thing is loaded. It is loaded out, okay? It's not just an RTH with just a game on it. Anybody can put a game on it, all right? But if you don't have, your, like I said, your title updates and you don't have your DLC, you know, like all the map packs and all that crap, well, you basically got a melancholy vanilla freaking thing that plays a game. That's it, okay? And then you have to download all the rest of the crap and put it on there, okay? And God help you if you don't know what you're doing. All right, so anyway. Okay, there we are. We rescanned. We found all that stuff. I want you to go to unlock XBLA. Get A. Okay, zero five unlock. Good. Okay. Then go down to show DLC. Okay. And then tab over. Unlock DLC. Hit A. Okay. Zero files unlocked. Good. That means that everything has already been unlocked. Okay. Exit the dash. Now, if you have to, if you happen to download, you know, DLC, or you got a new title update or whatever, please make sure to come in here and make sure you scan and you unlock it. Because if it's not unlocked, well, it won't play on the Xbox. It's got to be hashed properly to the console. Okay. That's the job of that tool. That's what that tool does, okay? And that way then, you're not sitting there and you go to play the game and all of a sudden it crashes. It crashes the console, it resets it, it goes back to Aurora, you're sitting there going like, what the hell happened? Well, you didn't unlock the DLC, or you didn't unlock the title update, you know, or you got the title update screwed up or whatever. Well, guess what? That will make that happen. Okay, it's not the hardware. No, it's all software, okay? <laughs> and you really got to know what you're doing when you're playing with your shit, okay? So anyway... Like I said, over the years, I've been doing this since 2002, the original Xbox with freaking the DVD hack, okay, when that came out in 2002. And I've been doing this crap ever since, I just never did it online, I didn't do it online until like 2014, okay, but I've already so many freaking consoles I can't even go, oh my god, and, and JTAG them, okay, JTAG, yeah, three resistors and two Xenia diodes, Ray, you know, the original, oh my god. All right, but anyway, needless to say, yeah, I'm showing my age. I'm 53 years old, okay? I'm a 53-year-old kid going on five, all right? Deal with it. So anyway, okay, we're back here. Everything is cool, all right? And we're good to go. And now we can play anything that we want to play, okay? So we're good. All right, now, I'm going to show you something else here, okay? Look, emulators, okay? There we go, okay? You play anything you want, okay? It's got over 7,000 ROMs just in Maine, okay? All the rest of these, these are all your, all your games. You got Game Boy Advance, Sega, MAME, SNES 360, FCUX, which is NES emulator, okay? You know, they didn't make a title artwork thing. I'm thinking about doing one just for the hell of it and updating it, uploading it to them. So anyway, needless to say, all right, you want to play an emulator? No problem. Hey, yeah, it'll play. And it'll start up. There you go. All right, and there's me, okay? Now. Right trigger, page by page going down, and as you can see, there's games going back to 1977, okay, you know, I mean, so on and so forth, that's, we're going to hit the end any second now, there you go, okay, that's the end of it right there, so that's, that, that's right trigger going down page by page, left trigger going up, page by page, d-pad down, d-pad up, Why for your options, you can put an external drive on this thing, put more ROMs on it if you want or whatever, and download them for arcade punks or whatever, you know, and you'll be able to play even more, okay, or A to launch the game, Follow the on-screen instructions, you're good to go. When in the game, okay, you can press both thumbsticks in, all right? And there's a sub-menu that's going to come up, and you're going to be able to adjust your, you know, frames per second, your shaders, your pixels, all that crap and everything else. If there's a mod for the game, it'll show it. You can select it, and then you can play with a modded game of it, okay? So anyway, a whole bunch of stuff on here, okay? So have a blast. That's how you play an emulator. They all play the same way, all right? So we'll go back. We'll go back to Aurora. Now, all right, classic games. <laughs> okay, now, Aurora, you know, is the vast, uh, vast thing here. Sometimes, you know, the games do work with no problem, okay, but it depends on, it, it, it depends on, you know, Aurora and how much memory it's using, okay? Because I noticed this, all right? FSD didn't use as much memory as Aurora does, but that's just the way it is. But if you want to play... A classic game okay look here we go I'll show you we'll go over the classic game okay now if you want to play this classic game well you have to do it offline you can't do it online okay so what I'm saying is is if you have this guide right here okay with all the fancy crap and everything else 
well, it's not going to play. Because what's going to happen is, is this. Okay? Absolutely freaking nothing. Okay? Not cool. Alright? But you got to put the system in bypass mode in order to play a classic game. Now, you're going to ask me what bypass mode is. When you want to play a classic game, you got to power the console off. And then what you do, power it on, hit eject, leave the tray hanging out, okay, until... Well, actually, Aurora will pull it back in. So don't even. So just leave the tray hanging out. Don't even. Don't even. Don't even mess with it. Don't push it in. Don't do anything. Okay. Console's gonna boot, and what's gonna do? It's gonna pull a tray in once Aurora. Once Aurora decides that it's going to pull it in, just give it a second. We're gonna sync up a controller. <sighs> Any day now. Come on, you can do it. I know you can do it. You want to do it, don't you? Yes, you do. Any day. Thank you. Pull the tray in. Now, here we go. Okay, and we're good to go. Alright, now. Okay. Now. Hit RB. Go over to your classic games right here. Okay? Now. Play a classic game. There you go. Oh my god! Why block life strong? Oh my god, I was just... Sorry about that. Because I put it into bypass mode. <laughs> You're fucking killing me. <laughs> okay. And like I said, just little quirks with Aurora. <laughs> but unfortunately, it's the only thing that we got right now because FSD is kind of screwed. Okay. <laughs> Alright. So anyway. Alright, look. Here we go. I'm going over to where Yeah. Let's try this again, shall we? <sighs> okay. There you go. You fucking classic fucking 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 low There you go, okay? Ah, this one's playing real nice. Okay, good. That's a good thing. Alright. So anyway, yep. And as you can see, there you go, and there's the freaking thing, okay? Press the A button, yeah, okay. But just like on the original Xbox man, we hit A, and there you go, and there's your story mode and all that crap, okay? So as you can see it all works, okay? When you're done with it, hit the guide button. Yeah, what else is new? <laughs> Like I said, thank you, Aurora. <laughs> Never did that on FSD, but it certainly does it on Aurora, okay? But anyway, what will happen is it's going to restart itself, okay? And everything will be fine and dandy, I do believe. Should. <laughs> Any day. Yeah, there we go, okay? So, disaster averted. Okay, just some, some titles, some titles that it'll, it'll crash on when you go to exit it. It's just the way it is, okay? It's just it's just Aurora. They need to do some memory management with this thing. I can't wait to see their next update, which they are working on, by the way. So anyway, you know, like I said, there you go. There's Aurora, all that, with your classic games. Now, okay, we got a couple other things that we have to go through on this thing, all right? And that's going to be copying files, folders. Okay? And uh, you can hit the back button right here. All right, now you notice I have an IP, 192.168.1.11, okay? That's the, that's the address of this Xbox right here, right now, okay? But anyway, you can go to File Manager, okay? And if you stick the USB stick in, okay, here's what's going to happen. It's going to find it. I was going to say USB inserted, okay, insertion, okay? Now, okay, D-pad left, well, no, excuse me, okay, left button, Right button. That's your left and right window pane. Okay, while well, they did that, I liked it side by side, but they did it this way. I don't know why. But anyway, okay. Using the right one, USB stick. Okay, it'll load everything that's on the USB stick, which is doing right now. There we go. All right, page page down. If you've got a menu or something like that you want to copy, it's real easy. X to select right there. And then uh, the pad left over. And then you can either delete it, you know, cut copy, okay, rename, okay, new directory, so on and so forth, so you just copy it, A, just like this, okay, and then hit L, then hit LB, and then go to HDD, okay, now I'll pull it up, and you put it in, you can put it in your main menu right here, and then all you gotta do is you just go ahead, and you, hit, you, you bring it over here, paste, yes, Paste completed successfully, okay, and there it is, okay, then delete it, X, pretty easy, 
okay? No problems, all right? Life is good. Now, all right, that's using a file manager, okay? Now I'm going to show you something else here. I'm going to pull the USB stick out, okay? And now, okay, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you FTP, okay? Now, hitting the back button again, 192.168.1.11, okay? Remember that address, very, very important, all right? Now, we're going over to my Windows machine here, okay? I'm going to grab hold of the mouse. Okay, you download WinSCP for Windows. You download FileZilla for Linux, okay? You, you can go to, if you have a phone, Google Play Store or whatever the hell it is, the Play Store or whatever, and type in FTP client and download an FTP client, okay? Now, all we're going to do is we're going to use, we're going to start off with FTP. We'll go through this real quick. All right, look, you just install it. You download it, you install it on Windows, just like you would a normal program. There's one FTP. Click on it. It's going to open up. There we go. All right, we're going to choose FTP. And I'm going to put in the host name, okay? I'm going to put in 192.168.1.11, okay? Then we're going to use username Xbox FTP. Password Xbox FTP. Okay? Now, log in. Connected. Reading remote directory. There we are. We're going to mess around with ATD1. That's the only one you mess around with. Unless you really know what you're doing and you want to play around. Okay? But anyway, plugins, all this crap. But right now, let's say you want to copy a file over. Okay? All right. No problem. We can do that. All right? Here we go. We'll grab hold of Rick Text. Pretend it's a KV got banned. Let's say your KV got banned or something like that. All right? Which doesn't really happen too much, but, you know, it, it has happened. It, it was quite a few of them that got banned uh, the other day. Somebody decided to, like, destroy KVs, which was okay. Because we replaced the one that got destroyed on us. Lorraine does that. She's a good person. All right. So, anyway. <clears throat> okay. Rick.text. Okay. So, well, if you want to you want to call KV, that bit, it's fine. Let's say you want to move in. Let's say you want to put a new KV on. Okay, no problem. So, left click. Okay, left click, hold it, drag it, drop it, and there it is, okay, now to delete it, left click, right click, delete, okay, gone, pretty easy, FTP in a nutshell, alright, read up about it, yes, now, you can also download Xbox 360 Neighborhood SDK, alright, and when you do that, you wind up with this big green blob right here, okay, so, we'll open that up. Let's see how this works. Okay. Now, there it is. Xbox 360 neighborhood. This one's gone. We're going to get rid of this. All right. Yes. Now, add an Xbox 360 to the neighborhood. All right. So, we go ahead and there it is. The development kit. We learned. Let's add the Xbox. <clears throat> now, you can type in JTAG and it'll find it. But for me, I have to use the IP address. 192.168.1.11 because I have multiple Xboxes on this network. All right, hit next. You don't have to put a password in or anything like that. It'll find it. Do I want to make it default? No, you hit yes, okay? Next, finish. There it is right there. Now, it pops up. Right-click, open, explore, reboot, screen capture, synchronize time, security. Says default, Xbox 360, delete, and properties, okay? Now, open it up, double-click. Give it a minute because it's 360 neighborhood. Come on, oh my God! <sighs> there we go, okay? So we're going to mess around with volume HD1. Double click on that. Okay? Now it's going to open that up. Okay? Now listen. I'm going to copy and paste files and folders and everything. It takes its sweet time. That's just, on some consoles it doesn't. On some it does. I don't know why. Okay? It's freaking retarded. But it's the TCP buffers. It's the way the TCP is set up. The freaking... Well, it's made by Microsoft. What the hell do you expect? Okay? <laughs> just like everything else that they make garbage <laughs> but we use it every day <laughs> made people billionaires off of our pain <laughs> all right so anyway, there's your files your folders and all that crap okay now you want to copy a file uh, file folder over okay right click on on explorer okay and then just open up another instance of explorer right here all right then we'll go to desktop right here I'll copy and paste the file in the folder we'll grab all the command line uh text and text thing right here okay so we go ahead we select it Left click, drag it. Yeah, it takes three time. Give it a second, okay, and copy. You can't, you, you can't overwrite files with it. See, it won't let you. You got to go to a blank area, and then just drop it. Pretty much there it is. Now you want to delete it. Right click. 
Come on. Thank you. Delete. Okay, and yes. And it's gone. Okay, so that's the neighborhood. Pretty powerful tool. You can do a lot with it. You can start titles up from it. You don't have to even go to Aurora. You can start them up right from here or whatever just by clicking on the bulk XEX, okay? Then I will close this out. Ah, uh, is it going to crash my windows? No, this time it didn't. Okay, so anyway, FTP in a nutshell. All right, so that's how, well, that's some information. It's enough to get you dangerous, okay? And uh, explaining how all this shit works and everything, okay? So needless to say, there you go. That's the end of the instructional part of this video. Now I'm going to showcase all the rest of these consoles, okay? So John, listen, it's going out this afternoon. You have a tracking number sent by the website, okay? Just to let you know, all right? So anyway, we're going to power this off here. And I really do appreciate you guys watching all the time, man. Okay, you know, I mean, I really do. I appreciate all you guys because, uh, like I said, you know, without you guys, I wouldn't be doing this. So, you know, I mean, at least you know what you got, where it's going, how it works, and all that other happy nonsense, okay? So, you know, I'm giving you enough knowledge to become dangerous, all right? Now, the rest is up to you, all right? I would suggest that you start reading up about RGHs and everything because it's not all just, you know, you know, a lot of people think that this is a click and go. Not really, okay? You really got to know what you're doing, okay? Because there is some stuff that you, that you have to know, okay? Especially when you want to get into other mod menus and crap like that, all right? So anyway, John, okay, going out this afternoon, brother, all right? Now, I'm going to put this here, drop this down. Let me grab another one, okay? Ah, yes, here we go. Dustin Johnson. He'd be Dustin his Johnson, okay? Now, this boy's from Alabama, all right? <laughs> That's the road in Aniston. So, you know. Anyway, really good dude, all right? He sent in his console. This is a send-in, by the way. Uh, and Dustin, I cleaned... I tried to get the mess off of this thing, okay? I'm going to I'm gonna clean it up a little bit better. But there was a lot of scratches in it and everything, so I, 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 clean, I cleaned it up because there were some pretty deep scratches on it and stuff, you know? And it's that shiny one that you sent in. I, I, I hate... Ooh, I hate them. But anyway, all right, just to show you, all right, it's the same thing. Like I said, just follow the instructional video for this and you'll be fine, okay? But I do want to show you that it boots up and everything is all good. So we're going to go ahead. This is a Trinity model, by the way. So we're going to boot it up, okay? And these are all booted up. Uh, these are all booting up uh, cold, by the way. They're not warm or anything like that because they went ahead and just, you know, I had to, you know, like I said, it's 2.35 a.m. in the morning, okay? So, you know, I mean, it gets kind of crazy. Let me make sure that I got this. Oh, God, don't start with me with the HDMI crap, okay? Because I'm going to get really, really pissed off. Yeah, there it goes. Thank you. Yeah, I unplug it. <laughs> okay, anyway, so some boots. We'll sync up the controller. All right. And now it's going to boot up. We're going to get into Aurora. Okay, and it's going to let it gonna do its thing. Just give it a second. And there we are, okay? Basically, same stuff, Okay. This one here, all right, and this is a 250 gig drive, okay, so as you can see, Xbox 360 games, okay, all same stuff, man. okay, and then of course, you got your Xbox Live Arcade, and then you have your homebrew section, and of course, your classic games, your indie games, and your emulators, okay, all right, same compliment, okay. So, you know, just so you know. All right, now, you want to see it online? Here we go. Homebrew section, we'll go to dashboard. Just to show you that it gets online. Got it. Good. Okay. There you are. And there she be. Okay. So you're up, you're online, and you're live. You're good to go. We'll go ahead, we'll bring it back. Home. Yes. All right. And now what it's going to do is going to run back to Aurora. Okay. So, uh, Dustin, you're all good to go. Everything is loaded on it. College football revamp. Latest friggin' edition. Okay. With, with the latest version. Version 10. All right. Everything is all good to go. You ain't got nothing to worry about. And we're going to be shipping it off this afternoon. Okay. With that one. The post office loves me. Trust me. Okay. But anyway. Just so you can see. There it is. She runs. She runs real good. No problems. Okay. Well, anyway. Sorry about the a little bit slower boot time. But unfortunately that was not the boot time. That was actually the freaking video. Because when I unplugged the video... She started right up. <laughs> you know, it's like going like, really? All right, now, let's see here. 
Okay. Okay, Lee Morris. Okay, Mr. Morris. Now, we're going to go ahead. This one, you bought this one on, you know, from our website. This is not a send-in. We'll go ahead. We'll plug it in. And we'll boot it up. Okay? And like I said, oh, into that guy in operation that. Oh, I suppose that this is a mirage, okay? And there's, you know, I only use one console every time. Look. <laughs> I love making people feel like idiots, you know, I really do, especially when they say stupid off-the-wall shit like that. Boy, does that piss me off. Like going, I've been around long before you were fucking born, boy. Mm. Anyway, okay, so we'll sync up a controller. You will see that this one boots the same way. <laughs> Monotonous, isn't it? <laughs> you can imagine how I feel every day doing like fucking ten of these things, you know? Just, just every day with my little soldering iron going, ah! Ah, ah, okay. Oh my God. All right, now this one here. <laughs> okay, Mr. Morris, I do believe. Okay, that this one is the two terabyte one. It might be. Yeah. No, it's a one terabyte one. That's right. Okay. All right. So anyway. Okay, I think. All right. Anyway, as you can see, this one's got a little bit more on it. Okay. Now we start off with Advanced Warfare. Okay. We'll bring this all the way through. You have a ton of shit on here, okay? Literally a ton, and it all works, every single bit of it, and I made sure of it. You got the uh, college football revamp, like I said, you know, version 10 on there, good to go. And you got everything, I mean, it just goes on and on and on. Yeah, you even, it's even got Halo 4 on it. You even got the Grand Theft series on this. Ghost Recon, you got all the Gears of War, you know, Fight Night, Fable 2, MMA, Defiance, Crisis 2, Call of Duty, Black Ops, a whole freaking nine yards, man. You got a ton of crap on here, okay? I mean, wrestling, whatever you want, man, it's there. It's there, okay? And they all have the title updates, too. Yes, that's what took me so long, because I had to download each and every freaking one of them, except for the ones that were already on the freaking hard drive. Holy fuck! All right? So anyway, yeah, you got a ton. Now. <laughs> okay, hit RB. You also got a ton more Xbox Live arcade games, okay? You got the Pinball Series FX, you got Pac-Man, you got Mortal Kombat. You got everything freaking under the sun that you can ever want. And then if you get bored with this... Wait a minute, there was a, there was a double there. Oh, no, you don't. You get Y, go down here. You want to hide a double? Real easy. Hide. Now, remember, if you go over one more, you'll delete it. Don't do that, okay? You just, just hide it, okay? Good. See? Now you only got one. See what I'm saying? I hate doubles. Yeah, you got the Golden Ball 007 by Smod. Repacked it. Thank you, Smod. Smod's a good dude. Then you got the Goat Simulator even, okay? I, you got shit on here that I have no idea, whatever the freak, but you can get into it, okay? Now, Dead Rising, Dead Rising 2, so on and so forth. Or Castlevania, you know, I mean, all Blood Rain, oh my God, okay? Burger Time! Yeah, you got that too, okay? You got, yeah, oh yeah, I make sure to bedazzle you with bejewels, okay? You're going to be you your freaking jeans or whatever, okay? All right. The rhinestone craze. Okay. Homebrew section. Your tools. Okay? Classic games. You have a lot. A lot of classic games on here, okay? Including Scarface, okay? Yeah, you fucking with those, yeah! I'm going to fuck you up, ah! Ah, so you don't fuck with me, yeah? I'll fuck you up. Fuck you, fuck you. Fuck, 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 fuck. Double fuck. My name is Antonio Montero, huh? You fucking with me, I'll hit you with a fucking ravioli. And you fucking start with me. You want some garlic bread with that? Anyway, okay. So we got a ton of shit on here. And of course, also, you know, these are games, but unfortunately they don't have the title up. They, they don't have the title artwork for it. So, you know, it's just... It's not me. They just never approved the title or artwork for it, which I did talk to Kebab about. <laughs> like, going like, dude! <laughs> If you're going to make this thing, okay, make it fully correct, okay? So anyway, RB, you're indie games, and yeah, you got a ton of them on there, including some racy ones, all kinds of crazy shit, okay? Stuff I've never even heard of. Yeah, Baby Maker Extreme, got to have that. Very, very important you have that, okay? So on and so forth. The scapegoat, yes. Gnome Carnage, you know, I can imagine what that's about. Okay, and then of course you have your emulators, okay? And then, back to show off, okay? 
There you go. All right, that's everything that's on there. That's everything that's on the hard drive, okay? Now, we'll go ahead. And what we'll do is we'll go on over to the fuck. There it is. Okay. Let's go see if this thing's online, shall we? Yeah, you're online. Lee Morris, welcome to Alliance Live. Good. Got it? Good. Okay. Pass the sign in. You'll see it's up. It's online and it's live. Good to go. Hit the guide button. Go back home. Lee? <laughs> thank you for your business. Thank you for your patience, man. Okay, thank you for dealing with me. <laughs> it's a hard thing to do, I promise. <laughs> but that's okay. Hey, listen. If you can't laugh at yourself, well, then who the fuck can you laugh at? And if, you, and if you think that you're better than anybody else, guess what? My fly is on the front of my fucking pants. We all breathe the same. I don't give a flying fuck who you are. There ain't nobody better than anybody. So just remember that, okay? And if you keep getting tired of being called a god in Messenger, please don't do that. I am not a god. I fucking solder five wires, okay? And I put a fucking chip on an Xbox. It's not a big deal. I promise you, okay? I worked on CPC equipment the size of this fucking house, all right? Yeah, that would impress me, all right? This is child's play, okay? A five-year-old could do this shit. Anyway, needless to say, okay? And don't say that they can't because with some training, I can, I can make a monkey do this motherfucker, all right? Anyway, needless to say, Lee, thank you for your business, man. I greatly do appreciate it, okay? I really do. Thank you very, very much, okay? It's going to be shipped off again with the other ones, okay? If I ever get done here. All right. Like I said, but at least you know it runs, it's good, and it's going out of here. And it's going to work, which is a lot more than what a lot of other dealers do, because all they do is just take a picture of a console. They never show it running. They never show it multi-booting. Oh, no. And then when you get it, you're sitting there for 60 seconds waiting for the fucking thing to boot up. All right. Uh, Matt outside. Yeah, my buddy. Now, Matt, good guy. Um, you know, like I said, I appreciate you guys' patience with getting these, but like I said, if I didn't rebuild any of these right here, okay, you would get shit that doesn't work. All right? It'll look like it worked, but it doesn't. And I don't deal that way, and anybody that does deal that way is a fucking asshole and shouldn't be selling these fucking things. Okay? And if you don't like what I'm saying, hey, I'm being real. You can't argue it. If you're going to give something to somebody that doesn't fucking work, or you're not going to fucking cover, cover warranties or anything like that, you're a fucking asshole. You're nothing but a scammer, and you're a fuckface. Plain and goddamn simple. All right, I, I I won't associate with shit like that. All right, I just won't. And anybody says, "Oh, he's an asshole." Guess what? Fuck you. Okay, because here I am, put my ass out on the line. Okay, showing this shit live. Okay, and showing these multi consoles live. So don't even go there. Don't even try. Okay. I love these fucking little squeak, fucking insignificant little cunts. All right. So anyway, Matthew. <laughs> Alfie, <laughs> dude, it's done. Your name's on it, okay? Let's boot it up, shall we? Oh, my God. This one is a two terabyte. <sighs> yeah, this was, the, this, was the, uh, this was the second to the last one that I worked on, by the way, okay? That I had, that I had to work on, okay, last night to update all the title updates and all that crap, okay? Anyway, there she is. We're going to boot up. Matthew! Matthew! <laughs> I'm feeling punchy! We're gonna boot up into Aurora. We'll get our plug in over again. You give it a second. It's just a wait. What am I gonna say? FSD was so much faster than this. I really gotta get into fixing FSD. <laughs> anyway, Aurora, here we go. Okay? We're good. Life is good. Oh my god, there's an update. No, I didn't want to reboot now. Jesus Christ, sorry about that. I forgot to. The, uh, the reason, because I was loading titles and everything else, okay? Anyway, all right, look. Plain and simple, all right? Let me sync the controller up. Okay, here we go. All right. Now, that was an update for the mod menu, by the way, okay? Just to let you know, so when, it, when it, it's, re, it, it's loading right now, then it's going to reboot. Okay, so anyway, uh, just to show you here, what's on here. Here we go. Xbox 360 games. Yes! You even got a little bit more, okay? It goes on and on and on and on and on and on, okay? I mean, you got everything on there, okay? Mass Effect Trilogy, the whole fucking nine yards, anything that you want. It's there, man. It's all there, everything, every bit of it, okay? So you can have a blast with that. Yes, it's got college football revamped on there, too, okay? Of course, 
so on and so forth, and we'll get through all this crap here. Holy mackerel, oh my god. Uh, yeah, there you go. Yeah, it's, it's 13, 12, 10, you know, I mean, 14. Yeah, right there. You even got fucking NBA Jam. You got, uh, you got 2K17. Uh, all the basketball say Anything you want is on there, okay? Everything. Oh, my God. All right. It's my clever arcade. You even got more arcade games, okay? I mean, you got, you got to, yo, oh, please. Okay? So on and so forth. Homebrew section, okay, there's all your tools that reside and all that crap right there. Alright, classic games, yeah, you got a ton of them on there too, okay? I made sure of it, okay? You got dead, dead to rights and all that crap, alright? I mean, Juiced, Vice City, Grand Theft Auto 3. I mean, so on, so on, all games that, that have been around forever, okay? I mean, forever, alright? You got all the Tony Hawk series and everything else too, alright? Your indie games, yeah, you got a ton of them too. As you can see, oh my god, yeah, um, I am going to mention one thing, look, if you do this, you wind up with this, okay, and then bad things happen, you know what I'm saying, it's called child support, so keep it in your pants, alright, now, anyway, <laughs> emulators, yeah, you got the emulators too, okay, so on and so forth, and of course, back to show all, alright, and there you go. All right. Now there's some artwork that it, that that was missing here because of the simple fact is is that you know it wasn't it, it, it was never uploaded. Okay. You know I mean just the way it is. But you know it all works the same way. All your stuff there it is. All right. Now go ahead. Make sure this one's online. <clears throat> yeah. There you go. Got it. Good. Okay. Come on. Don't tell me it did the update. It did the update. The minute I hit this, it hit the GTA 5 update. Okay, yep, there we go. I knew it. <sighs> Let's try this again, shall we? Sorry about that. <sighs> okay. Now, you mess with me. I will hurt you. Okay, and as you can see, you're up, you're online, you're live, everything is all good. Alright? So, here we go. Bring this back. All right. Now, Matthew, thank you for your business. Thank you for your patience. Thank you for everything. All right, I really do appreciate it. Okay, and I mean, like I said, man, you know, I appreciate you. We're gonna get this out to you today. It'll be out this afternoon. You'll get a tracking number through the website, through the email. Okay. Listen. Thank you so much. All right. Now, if this one's done. <clears throat> Let's move on to the next one. Okay. <coughs> then we got one more after this one. Okay. Mr. Mark Taylor. Yes, this is Mark Taylor's. See? There it is, Mark. Okay? Alright. Now we'll plug this in. Okay? Here we go. Alright, let's power it on, shall we? Let's see what this one does. <laughs> Alright, let's take up the controller. Well, wait a minute. And of course, it boots, no problem. Life is good. Let's sync up this controller right here. Yeah, come here, you little bastard. There you go. Alright. <clears throat> now, Mark, he's all good to go. You're going to get the same thing. You're going to come up with Aurora. And you're going to be loaded on it. And you're good to go. This one's got a 320 gig drive. So you get a little bit more than the 250. Okay? So anyway, as you can see, we're at show all. Okay? Everything's signed in, plugged in. Good to go. That's our 320 complement right here. Okay, you got a little bit more on there. Yes, College Football Revamp version 10. You got the Mass Effect series on this thing. You got your Halo. You got all the Gears of War series. World of War. All your Black Ops series. Your Call of Duty series. Bulletstorm, Borderlands. You know, Battlefield Bad Company. There you go, back to Advanced Warfare. Alright? Now, Xbox Live Arcade. There you go. And you got a full complement of arcade games. Okay, you got Connect. Okay, now, if you want to put Connect on there, you can. Alright? You know, if you have Connect games, you can. Alright? Just to let you know. Yeah, I hate when it does that. Okay, Homebrew section, where the tools reside to blow the console up. And then, of course, your classic games. You got a couple classic games on there. Your indie games. And your emulators. Okay, so on and so forth. 
back to show off, all right? Now, let's see what happens when we put this one online, shall we? Okay, we'll go on over. Let's see here. There it is. Okay, we'll hit A. Start it up. Ah, round and round she goes. Where she stops at Mark Taylor at 30 days. That's where, that's where it stops. Okay, good. Got it? Good. Okay. Bypass the sign-in. Oh, come on. Don't play with me, Microsoft. Not now. Thank you. Okay? Off online live. Good TV. Guide. Okay? Disable the cheats. Enable. A. A. Okay? There you go. Bring it back home. Mark, thank you for your business. Greatly do appreciate it. All right? And uh, it's going to go out this afternoon with the other ones. Okay? Like I said, the post office loves me. So this is my post lady. She wants to kill me with all the packages that come in and out of here. It's like Grand Central Station. <laughs> so anyway, listen, thank you again for your business. I greatly appreciate it. All right. Okay. Here's one more. Aisha Clark. All right, buddy. Yeah, sure this was the last one I did last night. Oh, my God. All right. And then I got a ton of them I got to do today, too. And I got a ton of them to do Saturday and a ton of them to do Sunday. So on and so forth, okay? Taishan, okay? Your console, all right? Good to go. One shot, one kill. That was a good boot. I like that one, okay? So anyway, pick up the controller. There we go. Aurora. Here we are. All right, and you're all good to go. You got a 320 gig drive, by the way. Okay. So anyway, now look. Long story short, here we go. Okay, you can see plugins loaded, everything's good. Xbox 360 games, same complement as the other one, as you can see, including college football revamped. Everybody says, does it come with it, dude? On every one of my freaking videos, I show it. So yes, it comes with it on every freaking drive. Okay, every drive. Ah! Okay. Black Live Arcade. Yes, you got your arcade games. Connect. Again, you can put some Connect games on it if you want. I don't have any. You know what? I'm not into fucking running around in my fucking living room, okay? And I love the virtual hack they give you. Some of these games that have the virtual. Yeah, I can see people, like, destroying their TVs, walking into walls, all kinds of good shit. Yeah, that would be good. All right? So, anyway, your tools. Classic games. Indie games, emulators, show all, Xbox 360 games, okay? Bring back to the dashboard, hit end. You will see, it's up, it's online live, there you are, it's Asian Clark, okay? So, got it? Good. Bypass the sign in. There we are, we're good. What do you think? You like it? Good. Alright, hit the guide button. Drift tab, your cheats, hit A to disable, hit A to enable. They come enabled right from the server when you start up. Xbox Home, bring it back. Okay, like I said, follow the instructional video on the first console that I did. Okay? Nation, thank you for your business, man. I greatly do appreciate it. You, you, you know, like I said, I appreciate the patience and the time because, like I said, I know I'm running a little bit over. On, uh, I'm building these things, but that's, uh, and I'm trying to catch up, like I said yesterday, 2.30 a.m. in the morning. You guys say more? All right. I don't know any other motherfucker that's dedicated like that. But, uh, listen, I'm going to put it to you this way, okay? Look, I'm going to try, and I'm, I'm trying and doing five and six a day, okay? So just to let you know, all right? And believe me, I'm working my freaking ass off, but I can only go so fast, all right? You know, because if I go fast and I miss something, somebody's going to wind up with a problem. And I'm not having that, okay? I want you to get these things, have fun with them, and enjoy them, all right? So anyway, needless to say, oh yeah, and just, just, a little, just a little something here for the guy in Apparition that they were saying, oh yeah, it goes one console, okay? Here, wait a minute. That's two. Wait a minute. That's three. I'm making an asshole out of you, aren't I? And I'm enjoying it. That's four. Oh, but I only make one console and just, just demonstrate that and lie about it, okay? That's five. Let's do one more. And that's six. And for the guy on fucking um, Apparition that you can have this little unicorn and you can have this horn and shove it right up your fucking ass because I know that you like that. 
<laughs> hey, Crash, you better do something about the fucking guy in apparition net, okay? Because he's a fucking asshole, all right? Just want to let you know. Oh, by the way, Crash is my buddy. He owns XP Online. You want to check out a good server? Check him out. He's got, some, he's got a good server, too. Really good, okay? No KV mode, all that crap, you know? Everybody says, oh, he's all in for, for himself. I advertise for a bunch of people, okay? Now, I'm going to tell you what right now, okay? Krazy, Krazy Leon, who was on Facebook, is my friend. All right, he's been my friend for a long time. All right, we talk back and forth. We talk about things that people don't normally talk about, <laughs> okay? Uh, I'm talking referring to these, okay? And certain little things on the inside that people have no idea what they're doing, all right? So let me tell you something right now, all right? You want to, if you want to swap a server, check out XP online, and your KV won't get banned, because pretty much my challenges are as good as his, so you won't have a ban problem, okay, if you go over to him, okay, and if you go in no KV mode, you don't have to even worry about that, so, listen, like I said, XP online, damn good service, it really is, okay, so anyway, guys, listen, like I said, for, uh, yeah, one console, yeah, that's one gigantic stack of consoles. That's what that is. All right, guys, listen, love you. You you hang out. Eh. DMX passed. Oh my God, man, that is terrible. I know. Hey, Mike, how are you, man? Oh, uh, that's that's sad, dude. Oh my God, man. I can't believe that. That's fucked up. God bless him. A uh, moment of silence for DMX. That's for sure. That's. That's fucked up. I hate hearing shit like that. My, my, my other buddy Tyler, uh, about that. He just lost a friend. Got shot. Lovely. You know, just when you think you've got problems and then you start listening to other things, you, you, you realize, you know, and you know, you, you think, oh, DMX has money and everything. Yeah, what good is it now? You know? Like I say, you know, you can say what you want. You know, but you got to realize, life is very short. Don't live it angry, okay? Love the ones that you're with. Make sure you let them know every day. Because, like I said, you're here today and you're gone tomorrow. Look, I had a massive heart attack on 9-11 on, on of all fucking days. 9-11, okay, in September. All right? I had a widow maker. And uh, let me tell you what, I shouldn't be here. But I am. Oh, I pissed off a lot of people because, you know, Pissed off a lot of people in my in, in the field that, that that I'm doing this with, you know. I mean, because they were like, "Oh, hey, he's dead." No, you no, know, I'm not, motherfucker, and I'm still doing this. And you know, what? I'll still run fucking circles around you too. And I'm 53 fucking years old. So, <laughs> anyway, like I was saying, though, uh, take every moment as if it's your last, because I can promise you this: nothing is promised. Okay, and in the end, remember this: no matter what. No matter what your beliefs or anything like that, just know this. There's going to come a time when this is going to be nothing but a blip in existence. Alright? And everything that we do is not going to make a bit of fucking difference. Regardless what the government says, regardless what people in the world say. No matter what, this planet is going to die sooner or later. And guess what? Okay? It ain't going to make a fucking bit of difference. So enjoy every moment and live it as your last. Okay? And do me a favor. Think for yourselves. Don't be sheep. Okay? Think for yourself. Make decisions for yourself. And don't listen to what people tell you. Okay? If you listen to what people tell you, take it with a grain of salt and research and re really see the facts before you fucking say anything. Because the only thing you're going to wind up doing is somebody's going to make you look like an asshole. Just like I made that guy on Apparition that just look like an asshole right now. Okay? Which I enjoy doing. So, like I said, take every moment as if it's your last. And, uh, Hats off and uh, to uh, DMX. Sad to hear that he passed. Anyway, y'all have a good one, guys. All right. I, 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 you know, like I said, I've got, I've got so much, and I'm in good health, Caleb. Yeah, I'm in good health. Yeah, I'm, I'm watching everything. You know, of course, I'm taking ten thousand pills, but you know, I mean, you know, what the fuck? <laughs> you know, I mean, like I said, I never took a pill in my life till, till that heart attack. Now, now I'm taking medicine. I feel like a chemistry set. Um. Anyway, listen, guys. Look, have a great day. Be safe and be careful. All right, and um, like I said, live every moment as, as, as if it's your last, and don't be a sheep, and don't listen to what anybody says, okay? I, if you want to research what they're saying, okay, you might find out that it's like, oh, what a bunch of shit that was, okay? You know what I'm saying? So, guys, have a great day. I got a bunch of consoles I got to build. 
before I die, okay, because I want people to have their console. So anyway, you know, I, I got a contract with God, don't worry. After there's no more orders, that's when I'm going to die. So anyway, y'all have a good one, okay? I'll holler at y'all later. Take care, guys. Have a great day.